Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to make a quick pitch test. Now, before interlacing the job, the first thing we must do is to perform lens calibration. And we do this by testing the lens for optical and mechanical pitch. Producer lets me easily test for pitch. I simply choose pitch measurement from the tools menu, or I can hit command T to get the pitch measurement screen. And here it is. The first thing we do is define the lens size especially its width. In this case, I'm going to print to an offset sheet 20 by 28 whose lenses are parallel to 28 inches. If we were going to print a sheet on a digital printer, we would need to specify the width of the lens in a vertical lens orientation. Now, it's important to emphasize that we need to test the pitch on the whole width of the lens. Regarding print resolution, here I'll input my offset printer's DPI. For CTP, I'd need to enter a value that is half the native printer resolution, such as 1200 dpi for a 2400 CTP, or 1270 dpi for a 2540 CTP. If I was printing to a flatbed, I'd use the native resolution of the RIP. Here in the pitch block, I need to input the estimated pitch, typically determined by the lens manufacturer. In this case, I'm using a 75 LPI lens whose estimated pitch is 75.5 LPI. I'll also use a pitch step of 0.1, which will give me a complete range of pitch values to test from. The range at the moment is 75.4 to 75.6. Now, if I hadn't received the estimated pitch from the manufacturer, I would need to guess the pitch value, probably 75 LPI and I would also use 1.0 as the rough pitch step. If I was going to print directly on the lens, I would need to select the mirrored option. Whenever using AM screening, don't use the smooth option. So I'm going to leave this for now also. And this is basically it. All I need to do now is to save the test as a printable file. I can save my pitch test to TIFF, PDF, Postscript and Cytex CT format for future use. Now even though I can use this pitch test at a later date, if I were to change the lens batch or want to use a similar but different printer, I would need to make a brand new pitch test from the same file. I simply open the save file and print the test again on the new printer. For now, I just want to show you my pitch test from inside Photoshop. I could do this via any other image editor or even directly from my RIP. And here it is on my canvas. This is what the pitch test looks like. As you can see, the range starts at the same value we entered in the producer. And it also finishes at the exact value we specified earlier. Also, there are four alignment lines spread over the sheet, which helps me align the lens to the pitch test. Now, I know this looks a little fierce, but the procedure is really a simple matter of matching the lens to the right pitch strip. 